so it's been about how long I guess we're working on the fifth day since Allie was born and I wanted to document what I've been experiencing or what I experienced I started labor around 145 on the 3rd of February and I I uh, basically tried to rest for a few hours while it started and then as things got more got stronger I had to get up and move around I couldn't really deal with being in one place. And so I basically was up and having contractions. And to be honest, it was amazing to have that break in between. It's like geniusly created because they are intense, but you know that they end, that you get a little break period. Then eventually my midwife came around 10. When she checked, I was already eight centimeters dilated. And so in my mind, I, th I kind of started to think that that meant, you know, we're moving fast and that things were gonna continue to flow fast, but that was not uh, how it went. I was pretty much fully dilated the next time she checked um, and around 1.45 in the afternoon is when I was fully dilated. And then I was basically pushing for the next five hours until she was born around 6.39. Um, that was hard because Pushing is so counter to what you want to do. It causes more pain. <laughs> Ultimately, you're having a contraction, and then on top of that, you're being told to push. And then I ended up sitting on the toilet a few times. It kept moving me around. We try and move the baby down and then I moved to the toilet a second time and that's when the baby finally dropped into position and at that point probably for the last like three hours I was pushing and yelling pretty loud um, but at that point on the toilet I all of a sudden my voice just went really high and it's like, oh my God, I do not want to experience that again. <laughs> it's just so, it was so intense. And then they, they moved me to the couch where we had set up to have the baby. And uh, another five-ish minutes of just continuous screaming, basically, um, until the baby came out. It's hard to even describe what it feels like, but um, it's, it's uh, so much worse than people describe it because you can't put words to it. How painful it really is, or at least my experience was. And maybe it would have been easier if I wasn't pushing for five hours before it finally like happened she did arrive and recovery has been way harder than I expected um I tore um I got three little stitches but then I also split on the side and you can't really stitch that up and that takes a long time to heal so it just has to heal in position um, but, 
Uh, those first three days were really hard with just, you know, not really having much of an appetite, being told to drink a lot of stuff, but not really wanting to have to go pee. Um, and then, what? Not yesterday, but the day before at night. Third day at night, my milk started coming in. And that yesterday was super painful just because I was like dripping everywhere and I couldn't really stop it. The, you know, the baby doesn't nurse it all away, so um, it was just like dripping everywhere. And today I still am, but they feel a little bit better, so that's good. Yes, because it was my first baby that I uh I didn't really know any different or if like this was what all people go through but I guess it wasn't typical and uh my mom was there and she's saying if uh if it was this hard I wouldn't have had four and why I had to push for so long was because the baby's hand was also right up by her head. And so that's why she was kind of like stuck or going extra slow down. Um, and I guess that's why I tore. Kind of all a blur though. So hard to put into words what that experience exactly was because it was something. <laughs> So glad it's not my present experience, but this healing has been hard. But I'm doing better and feeling better as time goes on, so. And it's been difficult to adjust uh, everything, but my body feels healthier, so that's good. And baby's healthy.